Hello everyone and welcome back to Twig or This Week in Gaming. I am your host Josh B with Merclan Gaming and today we're covering all of the gaming news that happened this week, the week of June 24th. This week Ubisoft announced some Assassin's Creed remakes, Pal World released the Sakura Jima update, Capcom revealed a Dead Rising remake, and Lost Records Bloom and Rage was delayed. We'll then end things off with some Elden Ring updates about their DLC patch boosting early game buffs and the possibility of an Elden Ring movie. Let's jump right into it. This week, Ubisoft revealed some exciting news about the Assassin's Creed franchise. They announced that they are currently working on remakes or remasters of older Assassin's Creed games. While Ubisoft didn't specifically say which games are going to be getting a remake or remaster, the prospect of seeing some beloved titles with enhanced graphics and gameplay mechanics has fans just speculating on what is to come. There's hope among the community for a full remake of classics like Assassin's Creed 3 and Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Flag. This initiative reflects Ubisoft's commitment to preserving the series' legacy while also introducing these iconic adventures to a new generation of players. Fans will be watching very closely for further announcements detailing which games will be receiving this anticipated treatment. This week, PAL World received an exciting update titled Sakura Jima. This update introduces a new map area featuring diverse environments such as the Cherry Blossom Forest, Desert Plains, Beaches, and Mountains, offering players plenty of fresh landscapes to explore. In addition to the new map, the update also brings some new PALs and elemental versions of some existing PALs, expanding the variety of creatures players can encounter and tame. The update also includes five new levels and corresponding tech traits trees, providing some players with new abilities and strategies to master. The new island area is packed with content, including new dungeons, bosses, and even a new raid, ensuring that there are plenty of new challenges for players to tackle. However, it is worth noting that the new map area is designed for level 45 to 55, so players may need to level up before fully enjoying all of this new content. Overall, this new update makes now the perfect time to dive back into Power World and experience the fresh adventures it has to offer. Capcom announced this week an exciting remake for the classic game Dead Rising. In this beloved game, players control Frank West, a journalist trapped in a zombie-infested mall as he uncovers the truth behind the outbreak. While the initial trailer didn't reveal much beyond enhanced visuals, the prospect of reliving Frank's adventures with modern graphics is just thrilling. Fans are pretty eager for more details, especially regarding any new and inventive weapons that might be introduced in the game. We're very excited for this, and we can't wait to see how Capcom brings this iconic title into the current gaming era. As of the Summer Games Fest, we have two new Life is Strange-like games set for a release. However, this week it was announced that one of these games will be delayed to avoid overshadowing the other. The release of Lost Records Bloom and Rage has been pushed back to 2025. This decision aims to give both games ample opportunity to attract its players without the risk of their direct competition or unfavorable comparisons. Hopefully this additional development time will allow for further polishing of the game, enhancing the overall experience for players when this game does finally launch. And lastly this week, we have some even more news about Elden Ring and its latest DLC. First off, a patch was released to enhance the buffs provided by the first 10 Shadow Tree fragments, making early game upgrades more impactful by increasing damage and output and reducing damage taken. This should make the beginning of the game easier for new and returning players. In other Elden Ring news, the game's creator expresses his interest in the potential of an Elden Ring movie. While he is very open to this idea, he did emphasize the need for support from a major studio to bring this project to life. The possibility of this is leaving fans excited and very curious as to how this adaptation is going to fit on the big screen. Lastly, a concerning development occurred involving From Software's parent company, the Katakawa Group. The multimedia company experienced a hacker's attack this week, during which sensitive information was reportedly stolen and held for ransom. The full extent of this breach and its potential impact on From Software remains unclear, but fans are hoping that it won't have any serious repercussions for their studio. Man, that will be it for this week in gaming. Please make sure to check out all of our other videos and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you never miss an update. This has been Josh B. with Barkland Gaming, and I'll catch you next week for another exciting episode of This Week in Gaming.